Now, I'm adding all these lines, but of course, I'm not going to continue with this operation. I just wanted to show you the supplementary item. Let's assume this is a list of products I don't want. I can remove it. Make sure if you want to delete a line, you select remove from the purchase order line. Don't ever click delete. If you click delete, you delete the purchase order. You have to select remove. If I click on the purchase now, I can show you the prepayment option. Let's say you haven't confirmed anything. You are still thinking about this, needless to say. We have some demonstration in regard to the change management option that is yet to come. But here, I specify a description for this prepayment. And I specify it by either fixed amount or percentage. And I apply a category that is dedicated for my prepayments. You could create many different categories for different types of prepayments you may have or different types of vendors you may have. But I just made one category for prepayment. And the reason is you can choose the category that any of these products belong to to be as the same as the prepayment it has to be different that's why it's the best practice to create a separate category node within the hierarchy in order to apply it here i save it when i refresh it though the new button becomes enabled remove prepayment in case you would like to get rid of that you can just remove it here of course i'm not trying to do that at the moment now i confirm the po let's say and i'm still thinking about adding more perhaps if i go to the invoices there are three separate types of invoices available now if you don't have a prepayment the prepayment invoice is faded but if you do have a prepayment on that purchase order then the prepayment invoice becomes enabled however before i go through the prepayment invoice and finally show you the actual invoice which we have been working with starting from the finance series i'd like to show you the pro forma invoice if I take a look at the pro forma invoice, like any other pro forma text document is exactly simulating the scenario that you're going to invoice this, but you're not changing the status of the purchase order to be invoiced. Again, this should be a document perhaps you would like to show your maybe bank or custom agents in order to show that this is something you're buying. This is exactly yours and it will show the logo. You may see here, there's a post button that is disabled. It's supposed to show you that you can print it, but it doesn't necessarily post it. The reason they disabled it is actually not posting anything, but at least it should give you the capability to be able to print it. Needless to say, you can print this invoice by having and adding another option. Room for optimization here. If I save this, this is just a pro forma, but what do I do with this? I need to print it. So therefore, I can just get rid of this because I'm not be able to print it at the moment, but it will look like an invoice, but it's not an invoice actually, and it would be a resemblance of your official document. In order to create a prepayment invoice, I click on this button and it will open up the vendor invoice again, but this time only and only brings up a line adequate for the 10%. As you notice graphically, again, there's a cosmetic bug in CO8. It shows two edit buttons and it's supposed to be one. If I come back here, it shows 10% of the total amount. Now, I need to process this invoice. So I specify an invoice number. I call it the prepay. And as you see, the prepayment checkbox on your top right-hand side has been selected. When I post this, this becomes your liability. It's like a down payment, if you may. And then the accounts payable have to process it. But if you notice here, you get this dialog box. Why? Because I've added the prepayment category node, but I did not address that 